Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so this is going to be a uh, Aries Sun Moon and as well rising weekly tarot reading September 16th to September 22nd, 8, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, and uh, to shuffle the tarot cards, and uh, we're gonna jump right into it. Alright, so the, the the first four major cards, which are defining the narrative of the spreads, are as follow. Uh, the first one, which is the topic here, it is the Seven of Wands, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges, that will be the Ace of Swords. Then what we do have, it is the Hangman of uh, the... Um, the positive aspect of uh, the week or the things that are going to help you through it. It could be energies, you know, it could be people as well. And then we do have the Two of Swords, which stands for the uh, guidance that uh, Taro is offering uh, to you, Aries. So pretty much this week, all that it is required from you is to maintain your core and to be uh, as silent as you can, you know, do not provoke unnecessary attention. <clears throat> if you don't absolutely necessarily need to. But before we go into all that, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have Seven of Wands as the first one here, which is the very topic, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges. That will be the Ace of Swords. Afterwards, it is the Hangman here, and that will be uh, the... Uh, the Hangman is going to be the positive aspect of the week. And the final one is the Two of Swords, which stands for the uh, Guidance. All right, so uh, the first card, which is the topic here, it is the Seven of Wands, uh, with, accompanied with the, um, with the King of Swords. And we do have, um, how do I say it, a, a, quite a lot of criticism that is coming into your way. Pretty much it does look like that this is going to refer to your career in general and that looks like as your boss or a person that you try to uh, that you are trying to enthrall, you know, person that you want to shine in front, all right? But the thing is that uh, that person itself, it does look like that they do have a, a quite a different concept, different idea about the tasks, about the projects, you know, and about the work in general. So what happens here it is that they are not exactly slinking behind your back and trying to do things in a different way but it is more like spreading those kind of uh, nets in regards to uh, their personal preferences therefore uh, even though let's say you know your uh, your actions or your strategy is to be better than that you know uh, it's it's more like they're advertising themselves better let's say it that way so what happens here is that you are to have a, a pretty strong competition career-wise uh, throughout this week, uh, Aries. And it will be highly advisable, guys, to mind your own business. Now, the things that... Um, 
can't really bring you down or rather like the uh, the wrong steps that you can do is, is exactly in those kind of areas in fields that you don't have much knowledge of or much experience of so therefore do not jeopardize and necessary your current positions you know just uh, work upon your own personal projects do not uh do not put your nose into things that does not concern you all right so if someone else is struggling let's say and they don't ask you for help just don't offer your help just like that because that could be a prerequisite for this person you know to use it and to uh to try to knock you off your place uh important thing to be acknowledged however throughout the week it is that um <clears throat> the whole week is not gonna be that negative not at all it does depend you know how well you guard your boundaries all right and the boundaries that you need to guard are your, are your own personal project or the, the boundaries that you need to dwell in all right so do not exceed try to exceed those kind of uh, those kind of boundaries apart from that it does look like that there will be quite of a significant breakthrough into those boundaries all right there will be these kind of like a uh, moments of actions that you are to seize and at that point quite substantial actions is what you're going to is what you're going to incorporate and uh, exert in there and throughout those actions it seems that a significant milestone and breakthrough is to be achieved so the next one which is the negative aspect or rather like what is going to be the challenge here that is going to be the ace of swords followed with the emperor card here we do have a active friends and the organization itself is going to be rather the challenge that you need to face organizing yourself to establish like i said your boundaries so therefore you need to throughout the week you need to be very accurate in regards what you can what what you can influence all right and what you cannot influence you may want to influence certain project but in the same time you may not have the capability of doing it so and therefore trying to do something about it is going to be a wasted time wasted efforts and a futile attempt let's say so it's very important here to acknowledge uh in uh, once again in which kind of endeavors you know um you can make difference it is what i uh, it is what i like to say and when you acknowledge that then structuring all these uh, priorities in front of yourself you know the priorities of the current tasks that you do have the task that once again you do have a uh, control upon is going to become uh, more or less more or less kind of natural to you and through it um, you are to um, shine with a lot of um, reliability okay so you are to shine with a lot of reliability that is going to make your daily ups and downs uh, are much more bearable and also is going to help you make a tough decisions because this is also going to be somewhat a challenging for you however if you don't mind your own business but you're trying to be everywhere you may miss the chance to take uh, to uh, scope the necessary information in order to make those important decisions now the next card it is what is going to help you here and we do have the hangman uh, accompanied with the seven of pentacles so uh, here we do have a passive friends and with these two cards what is going to help you is the time passing time passing in the sense that the more the time passes the uh the less how do you how do i say it the less oppressive I would say it that way the situation with this person is going to become to a point where you will completely going to deviate paths all right your projects are not going to have anything to do with him or her neither their projects are going to have anything to do with you and for that reason it is important once again here to uh have a this, this accurate accurate analyzation upon how much you are going to invest in and even if you can exert influence upon those um those projects let's say or those um those endeavors of that person it will the, the price of it is going to be more than you know it's important here to be acknowledged for throughout the week that the week itself 
in a positive way, it's simultaneously a, uh, a breakthrough and a test of faith. Test of faith in the sense of that you know how, um, how narrow you are, you know, how much you count on your fulcrum, okay, instead of deviating here and there, and in the same time how patient you are through patience and um, how do you say it? Uh, when you are calm enough not to give a damn, right about the peripheral activities it's not even it's not patience it's it's something different but yeah i i hope you get what what i'm saying um those important um circumstances that are required for your own personal things you know for your own personal endeavors and not anybody else's endeavors are going to be very well acknowledged by you and therefore taken advantage of and it does look like that should you follow that path um, <clears throat> it seems that uh, you are to achieve a lot with less and that is a, a great thing so the last card that we do have for you Aries is going to be the guidance that Tara is offering to you that is going to be the two of swords the accompanied card it is the world and here we do have a active enemies so guidance wise with a um with a manis to repeat myself here the two of swords it is a about peace it is a about equilibrium you know that precious equilibrium mind your own business so no one else interfere with it should you interfere with something well someone else is going to interfere with your things as well maybe you like to call the shots maybe you like to boss around okay and to be everybody and it, and to be everywhere and to have attention from everybody but that is not the week that you need to or that you should exert on this uh, on this behavior additionally to that uh, it does look like with these uh, with these two cards that there will be as well important pieces information that you are awaiting and that important piece is going to come around but once again if you're not on the right spot on the right place you are to miss that important information and where is your place in your spot well into your own endeavors not into someone else's endeavors so <clears throat> even though you are to experience competition even though someone might try to steal let's say your project or to steal your work or even your place at work right uh they they ain't gonna do it they're they're not gonna be able to do it if you hold on tight to your enterprises and into your endeavors but should you try to influence something else that is not your business Wow, it looks like that you are in a, a big, big trouble. Ad additionally to that, the Two of Swords and the World card also speaks about longevity. In a sense of the thing that you or a project that you thought it is over and somewhat acceptable. It's not kind of like it, it didn't have any amazing results, right? It will have a chance to be uh, expanded even further. So that being said, there is this was your a weekly tarot reading for September 2000, um, September 16 to September 22nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.